fire, wildlife, and the economy. The average hunter spends about $1,900 a year on everything from gas, food, license and tags, and equipment and lodging. The average angler spends about $900. In Idaho, those dollars add up. Hunting and fishing activities contribute $1.4 billion a year to Idaho's economy. So when poor habitat affects elk herds, it also affects the local economies. I'm standing here in the heart of Idaho Fishing Games Game Management Unit 10, which is part of our low, low elk zone. Elk over the last 25 years in the low, low elk zone have declined by about 15,000 in the late 80s to less than 1,500 today. That's a tenfold decrease. So Idaho Fish and Game is working with the Nez Perce Clearwater Forest and the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation to improve that habitat through prescribed burns and managing wildfires. This is good elk habitat because it provides lots of forage for animals. It provides cover and uh, calving habitat as well as stuff for them to eat. We got here through prescribed fire by opening up the canopy and letting the sun hit this productive ground. It used to be dominated by lodgepole pine. Add predators like mountain lions, bears, and wolves on top of poor habitat, and you create a problem with elk numbers and consequently elk hunters. Those elk hunters that we've lost in the Lolo zone used to come from all over the country to hunt the Clearwater's legendary elk herds. And they spent money in small communities across the low, low zone and across the Clearwater. Along with controlling predators, the key component to restoring this elk population is creating better habitat through controlled burns and managing wildfires. Idaho Fish and Game manages the wildlife and we manage the habitat that that wildlife needs. So this prescribed burning program has been one of those areas that we work very closely with Idaho Fish and Game, with partner groups like the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation to do more habitat management. 